day three, uh, I heard from Queens College students who heard of a new concept at the time, which was uh, something that was organizing student power activities from other states called the PERGs, the Public Interest Research Groups. Students uh, all over and in New York wanted to work on many issues that affected them uh, and their families and their communities, uh, and they wanted to get away from this policy of in loco parentis. Has anybody heard of that? So in loco parentis is a Latin term. It means in the place of the parents. Um, and this was the sort of customary policy of universities across the country at the time. It meant that students couldn't do their own thing. Students couldn't just form whatever club they wanted to or bring speakers in as they saw fit or collect student activity for money to form clubs. Um, it was up to the schools as to whether they were going to allow these things. Um, and they controlled who the speakers were and what issues students worked on. So, you know, students wanted to break away from that. Um, and, you know, after a thorough review of the mission of these other perks, um, the goals, the structures of them, the students at Queens College uh, decided that they wanted to hire staff and work hand in hand with them to achieve social change. Um, they sat in the cafeteria right at Queens College and drew up a plan for how to create this in New York. Um, so they created the brand new statewide public interest research group, which was to be named NYPER. Uh, the students hired their very first executive director that year. And that was when Nightbird, as we know it today, is born. So four decades later, with chapters of 20 campuses and a legislative office in Albany, Nightbird has held more public officials accountable, spearheaded more environmental victories at the state and local level, registered more student voters, and saved more money for consumers than any other statewide group in the nation. Um, and all along the way, CUNY was there, starting with Queens in 1973, Brooklyn College in 1975, and later adding the rest of our, um, we had 21 campuses for a while, SUNY, CUNY, private schools, um, 10 of them across the city, the rest of them across the state, and that includes Long Island, all the way up to Buffalo. Um, 